Hello Orchestra, we are on page 36 of String Basics. I have the violin book open for us today. We're going to be working through page 36 and learning about a new time signature called 3-4. Also a new kind of note called the dotted half note. So let's scroll this up so we can take a good look and maybe shrink my picture out of the way a little bit. There we go. Steps to success. We're going to play dotted half notes on this page. We're going to play in 3-4 with group pulse. Sight read notes and rhythms accurately in 3-4. Draw bar lines in 3-4 and conduct in 3-4 pattern. That means the director moving their hand in a special pattern. Here's a chart that explains some of the things that we're learning about. The 3-4 normally is found um, at the beginning of a song and it is right there okay usually uh in this book so far we have been seeing four four as our time signature so how do we count three four well the top number three tells us that we're going to have three beats per measure not four four like four beats per measure like we've been doing but three beats per measure and the bottom number four tells us that the quarter note receives one beat Okay, it's the note quarter, the quarter note, receiving the beat. Here's a picture of what a dotted half note is. You put a dot on a half note, and it's called a dotted half note. How long is it? How long do you play it? Three beats. And here's how you do the math to figure that out. The dot adds half the value of the note. What is half the value of a half note? Well, a half note gets two counts. What is half a half note? Well, that would be one count. So we're going to add another one count to the half note, two plus one, and that's going to give us three beats. Now, this little nice little squiggly line here is what the director does with their arm to show you a three beat pattern. Watch my hand. Okay, it's going to start at the top. And it's going to go down to the side and then back up. Okay, so going down to the side and then back up. And beat one is here, one, and then over here is two, and then back up is three. Okay, so beat two and three are kind of in the same place. One, two, three. One, two, three three one two three see how the director's hand moves like that okay if i had a pencil in my hand and it was making a magic line in the air my hand would be drawing that diagram there that's what my hand is doing in the air so you can watch the director's hand and know that one is here when his hand is here that's beat one of a song and then beats two and three are over on the side. Measure our 177 conducting in three. First thing we're going to notice is we have a dotted half note, three beats, and then we have a bar line, another dotted half note, three beats, and a bar line. Notice there's only three beats or counts in each measure. If we go all the way to the quarter notes, we count one, two, three and there's no four in a measure like normal that's because of the time signature three four there can only be three beats in each measure all right the way we're going to sing this and read the dotted half note is we're going to say the name of the note d for beat one and then we're going to count the other beats as their numbers two three so d two three D two three D two three D two three D D D D D D D D D D two three repeat D two three. All right, let's try to play it. All right, notice the time signature and the key signature. 3-4, and there's two sharps in the key signature. So we're going to play our Fs and our Cs both as C sharps, a 2-3 pattern for violins and violas. 
All right, here we go. On the D. Rest. Two, three. D, two, three. D, two, three. D, two, three. D, two. Now the quarter notes. You might have got surprised when I started that song. You probably were thinking I was going to go rest, two, three, four. But I only said rest, two, three. And you know why now, don't you? Because the time signature. We're going to count in sets of three now. So my preparation count off for you to begin is only going to be a three beat count off. And then we start. Look at measure, or look at song 178, D major in three. We've got D two three, E two three, F, what is it, a sharp or a natural? Look at the key signature, and there's the sharp sign, so it's going to be an F sharp, two, three, G, two, three, A, A. A, B, 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 C, what is it? C or C sharp? C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, D, two, three, and then you repeat. All right, let's play it. I'm gonna count rest, two, three, and then we start. Rest, two, three. Sharp two, three, G two, three, A, 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 B, 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 C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, B, two, three, repeat, B, two, three, B, and so on. 179, three, four, climb, sight reading line. Okay, you should try to play this by yourself before you listen to me play it. So you pause your video and see if you can play it by yourself, sight read it, and then turn on the video and play along with me and see how you did. All right, here it is. We are in three, four, and we still have two sharps in our key signature, F and C sharp. And we have a D, E, D, E, two, three. Remember, we're counting the name of the note, E, singing it, and then counting two, three for the dotted half note. And then it kind of climbs itself up the scale until we get to the high D there. I'm going to count rest, two, three, and then we start. Rest, two, three. <laughs> Bonito, Steps to Learning Theory. We have some homework to do on this song before we play it. Say the counting to help you draw in the, the bar lines. I'm going to turn on my little tool down here below where I can actually draw on my screen. This is a nice tool that comes with the app in your book, uh, the IPS app, which you go to the web page and download onto your computer for free. It's pretty cool. That's what I'm using right here. All right, so to figure out where the bar lines go on this song, we we have to know what the time signature is. There it is, three, four. So every three beats, we're going to draw a bar line. Here's a quarter note, one, another quarter note, two, another quarter note, three. So we want to make sure we draw our bar line right there. It doesn't look like I had that selected. Let's try that again. There we go. One, two, three, bar line. So here's the first measure. 
Okay, next three beats. One, two, three, bar line. Okay, where does the bar line go next in the song? Are you thinking right here? If you said yes, you're right, because a dotted half note is three beats all by itself. All right, I'm not going to do any more. I'm going to let you finish that out yourself. All right, once you draw in those bar lines, go ahead and play the song. I don't think I'm going to do it for you. I'll let you do that on your own. Let's jump all the way down to postcards from Lori Va Valley, a French folk song. Our key signature is, again, F sharp and C sharp. And our time signature is three, four. So we're counting in sets of three. One, two, three. One, two, three, like that. Play it on your own if you want, or try to play along with me. Okay, here we go. I'm only going to count to three. I'm going to say rest, two, three, and then we play. Rest, two, three. One, two, three. Next line. One, two, three. I know in our school district we play that song for our uh, end of the year concert just about every year. It's a nice song. We just call it French folk song. <laughs> Roses from the South, 182. Notice we've got a fourth finger A there, and we've got a big long bow, a dotted half note three, note three beats, tied to another dotted half note. So total, six beats. We've got a bow for six beats. So we're going to slow the bow down to make sure we don't run out of bow. All right, here we go. Rest, two, three. G, two, three. G, two, three. F sharp, two, three. E, two, three. F sharp, G, A, E, two, three. G, A, E, two. Next line. D, two, three. G, two, three. F sharp, two, three. E, two, three. F sharp, G, A, F sharp, two, three. G, two, three, four, five, six. And even maybe a little bit longer because of why, of what? Because of the fermata over the last note. So six beats plus a little more, depending on the director, when the director wants to play that. Now, I did make a little mistake back there on the F sharp. So uh, be aware that you need to play that correctly. I forget what I did. I think I played um, an E or something. All right, guys, thanks. We'll see you next time.